is now Saturday. It's actually like, I think closer to 12. I ended up sleeping in, took a shower and got ready. I started my period this morning and so I wanted to look cute today, but I also really wanted to feel comfortable. So I ended up just putting on like jeans and a hoodie and doing some makeup and straightening my hair. And that's, I feel like, oh, and the rings. Naturally the rings make everything feel better. But right now we're gonna head out. We're gonna go to brunch and then we're also gonna go to the mall. We'll see where the day takes us. I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing on our little solo date so you guys know kind of what I like to have when I go out by myself because I feel like that really helps make the experience lovely. I think I'm gonna bring this purse instead of this one. Also, my Christmas decorations are still up. First of all, I have the stuff that I keep in this little bag always. This is like the bag that I throw into all of my purses and it just has my perfume, powder puffs, tampons, breath spray, a little comb, hair ties, a lash spoolie, a wet wipe, and some Aleve um, for like cramps and headaches and stuff. And then I think that's all I have in this bag, yeah. Okay. And then I'm also gonna bring my headphones. I'm not sure if I wanna bring my AirPods or my actual big headphones. I think I might just do my AirPods. So I'm gonna bring my AirPods and then I'll probably bring my Kindle. I usually would bring my journal, but I don't think I'm going to this time because I'm just going to brunch. Like I'm just gonna basically be eating. So if I have something that I wanna write down, I'll just write it down in my phone journal app. Or it's not like a journal app. I just use the notes app on my phone. Let's head out. I'm ready and I'm hungry. This is the outfit for today. I threw on this little coat because I feel like it made me feel more fancy. So I decided to bring this book instead of my Kindle because this is what I've been reading lately. This is the Creative Act by Rick Rubin. I love this book. It's amazing. So this is what I'll be reading today. Okay, let's go. I'm excited. I'm, my stomach started growling. It's only eight minutes away, so that works out nicely. I'm gonna put on some music. What type of person are you in the car? Are you like a sit in silence person, a podcast person, a radio person? Are you a singing person, a dancing person, a silent music person, a loud music person? Like what's your, what's your vibe? How do you listen to music? I'm curious. I feel like I'm all of them. Sometimes I'm praying in the car. Sometimes I'm singing really loud. Sometimes I'm just sitting in silence. Sometimes I'm listening to podcasts or a book. You can get it all from me, baby. I love my GoPro. I feel so happy. I love it. Perfect. Breakfast was so yummy, but I'm in so much pain right now. My cramps are killing me. My medication, I took it before I even left, left for breakfast and it hasn't kicked in yet. So I think I'm just going to go home and put on some sweatpants, maybe take another pill and hope that that really does it. And I think I'm just going to like online shop and look at the things I want to get online. And then really at the mall, there's only one thing that I need to do. It's like an exchange. Um, I'm gonna exchange like a lip liner color. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, it's all just like stuff that I would be buying online anyways. And I would just be going to the mall just to walk around. But right now I don't have it in me. So we're gonna set up a nice little at home day for myself. I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanna pick up before I go home so that I have it. And that way I can have like a nice cozy day at home with myself. So I will touch back when I'm figuring that out or when I figure that out. But for right now, I just need to get myself back to the house because, ow, you know, ow. Guys, I so badly want to continue this day in this video, but I do not feel good. Like I'm really struggling. So I'm just gonna let it be what it is, and I'm sure I'll feel better within the next hour or so. Um, but I'm just relaxing watching YouTube videos. I have my little... It's like a pillow that has these little beads in the inside. And you put the little beads in the microwave. And then 
it's like warm and then you can put them on your stomach with the pillow i'm actually just going to use the beads on their own right now though because it's just like not that hot anymore um and it's helping a lot so i'm just gonna relax and pray that within the next hour i feel better i really want to go to get groceries because i'm thinking maybe we'll make some yummy dinner tonight and we'll watch some shows maybe we'll bake some sort of like healthy dessert or something i don't know there's a lot that we could do um at home and if i do feel better enough then we can go to the mall but if not then i'm just gonna stay home i would like to pick up the book there's a few books actually that i want to pick up um so maybe we'll do that too like go to indigo when we're at the mall if we go my skin looks really good right now i don't know if anybody else finds this but when you like lay down or take a nap after you've done your makeup i feel like it looks so good it like really just like sets in like look how my skin looks right now and it's because i laid down and got a little like cozy in bed i'm telling you that's why anyways talk to you guys in a bit i just woke up from a little nap and i feel better my stomach is healed and so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna skip them all honestly but i'm gonna put my jeans back on and we're gonna go to farm boy which is like a fancy kind of like a whole foods um grocery store because i want to get some stuff for this week and i also want to make some dinner tonight but before i go there i'm gonna make a quick little grocery list of the things that i need for like a dessert and then also for what i want to eat this week i think this week is going to be very fruits vegetables and fish heavy that's kind of what i'm thinking um yeah let's go <laughs> can't see so i need them to drive i'm gonna go get bubble tea right now we just finished at the grocery store we got everything we needed and my mouth is parched and i want something that's like kind of a treat because you know i didn't really get anything today i mean breakfast was a treat but like i want something more of a treat so we're gonna get bubble tea that's something i can't make at home i'm also kind of feeling myself in my glasses right now like okay studious it's giving knows something she doesn't know what she knows but she knows something it's actually it was really nice going grocery shopping just now because i feel like usually when i grocery shop i'm in a rush and today is a saturday at almost five o'clock so you know everybody and their children are out of the grocery store and i was actually kind of liking it like i was moving so slow and i just felt really a part of the grocery shopping community you know what i mean instead of like rushing my way through i was like I have time to spend today and it felt really good. I'm really glad that my stomach's not hurting anymore. When I tell you guys I was going through it, I was really going through it. Like I have a pretty high pain tolerance, I would say. I mean, depending on who we're comparing it to, but I do have a pretty good pain tolerance, but sometimes my cramps are horrible. Like I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what. So yeah. yeah. If you have a kung fu tea near you, please go try this. It's the cheese milk foam rose oolong and I added brown sugar pearls. This is so yummy. If you like more of like the actual tea types of bubble tea and you also like obviously like black tea and like sweet drinks and like kind of like that florally taste, I feel like you'll really like that. I tried something new today because usually I get either like a classic milk tea with bubble tea or with pudding or I'll get like the mango or, you know, taro or um, strawberry milk tea is also really good there. Not milk tea, strawberry slush. So anyways, I wanted to try something new and I actually really like it. The guy recommended this one because I was like, I don't know what the fuck I want. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go home now. I think tonight what I'm gonna do is make dinner for myself. And also I bought um, scallops, by the way. I've never made scallops before, but I figured why not try? So I bought some frozen scallops and then I also bought a bunch of other stuff that I'm gonna probably 
make throughout this week and then also I think this week I mean not this week I think tonight's gonna be a big like edit so I'm just gonna sit down with myself and edit a bunch of YouTube videos and also watch more of my new show that I've been watching which is Lost I started watching Lost yesterday and I'm really into it so far so right now on the on the go these are the shows I have Superstore is kind of like a pastime watch then I also have Lost, which I now am watching as like a serious sit-down show. And then I also watch Blacklist. Those are my three shows on the go right now. It's kind of weird watching more than one show at a time because I feel like I don't usually do that. I usually have like one silly, one serious, and that's it. But now I have like two serious. I need to get another silly in there. Superstore is going to be over soon. I'm actually getting pretty close to ending it. So anyways, I'm going to go home now and stop ranting. This day has turned out pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun with myself and I feel really happy and like just grateful i was thinking on the way here of like how crazy it is the amount of things that i now like that i didn't used to like like for example cilantro used to hate cilantro now i love cilantro or alone time used to not really like alone time i try and like escape it like when i was in high school and stuff especially and now i really love my alone time um another thing is like house music i didn't used to like house music but now i really like deep house music and there's just so many things that i now really love that i didn't even used to like <laughs> <laughs> that sneeze came out of nowhere okay anyways i'll see you at home okay we are home and we're gonna do our grocery haul now we have two full bags lemons plantain chips do you say plantain or plantain scallops guaritos mahi mahi i've never actually made this but i figured why not try and I also picked up a bottle of kombucha. This one is the lychee and jasmine. I used to love kombucha, but I stopped drinking it because I found that it made me break out. Um, but I do think that my gut health is a lot better now compared to when I used to be drinking this. So we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. If my skin reacts poorly, I'll just not drink it again. Ginger. My drink for the week is the Montelier Lemon. I actually decided to give up pop in 2024. It was originally just gonna be Coke, but I was like, honestly, I don't really like any of the other pops, so I might as well just give it all up and just stick to sparkling water whenever I have that craving. So yeah, I don't think it'll be like, so I'm gonna be super, super strict, but for the first little bit, I am gonna be strict on it just to make sure I actually give myself the discipline to do it. And then I'll like make it a little bit less. Honestly, I don't really drink it that much anyways right now. Um, I went through phases where I would drink it a lot and right now it just happens to be one that is not So I'm just gonna try and keep going with that uh, Baby potatoes because I find these so easy to make and they're really yummy Salmon and yogurt. This is actually an, a coconut oil not a coconut oil a coconut milk yogurt And it's unsweetened and vanilla flavored. So we'll see how I like that. I've never actually tried Coconut yogurt. I've only ever tried lactose free I think I've tried almond and then obviously like regular but we'll see if the coconut's yummy these smoked bacon hash browns this is like a medley breakfast thing i used to have this all the time and i just haven't had it in a long time so i figured it'd be easy to have in the fridge some honeydew haven't had that in a long time either and some raspberries that is today's haul i'm gonna figure out what goes well with scallops because i honestly don't know like and initially in my head i want to make potatoes with it because that's just what sounds good but I don't really know, like, what do people eat with scallops? Is it like asparagus? Because I don't have that. Okay, guys, dinner served. I really feel like I outdid myself with this one. We have some glazed carrots. I already tried this. Bomb. We have these Parmesan crusted potatoes. So good. Tried these already. Mmm. Mmm. The scallops, I think they already came either super small or they cut them up before they froze them. I got them from Farm Boy if you're curious. Um, but they shrunk down so tiny. So like I definitely should have made more, but I didn't thaw out more. So I guess we'll see. I also haven't tried them yet, so I don't know what they taste like. Mmm. actually good not mad at it definitely not gonna fill me up but i'm not mad at it i'm gonna watch a show or a movie change of plans guys it's now like i think maybe 10 30 i didn't end up actually editing any youtube videos 
I watched two episodes of Lost and I filmed two TikToks and I got into a whole thought process and like rampage on kind of like what I'm doing content creation wise and like what my TikTok is even for because I just feel like I'm so inconsistent with what I'm doing on there like I'm posting often like I've been consistent with posting but I am not consistent with what I'm posting like my channel goes from being about fashion to then all of a sudden being about beauty to then all of a sudden being about dating and then like self-development and I mean I guess that's kind of like what it's like on all of my platforms like it's like that here obviously but you guys just get a full scope I feel like of not a full scope but you get like a much better scope of what I'm like on YouTube because you can like just sit and watch me for hours if you chose to whereas on TikTok they're like quick little things and I don't know I just feel like I just feel like I don't really know exactly what I'm doing on there and I'm not seeing any growth and it's kind of discouraging because it's like part of me wants to be like yeah TikTok can just be that fun place where I put wherever I want to put where I put whatever I want to put on but then also part of me is like, yeah, but you're not seeing any growth from that. So does that mean that you need to change something you're doing? Or does that mean that you just haven't been found yet? And part of me feels like it means I should change what I'm doing because that just gives me more control over the situation. I don't know. So yeah, just like was having some thoughts on that. Also was having some thoughts on negative comments and that sort of stuff. I was having some thoughts also on dating and that sort of stuff and i just kind of was like having a moment with like closing my eyes and like just having almost like a conversation between me and my higher self and i feel like sometimes when i think of me having quality time it's me doing moments like having intentional time like doing things with myself but then it always comes back to like the still moments where i can like actually commune with myself and like have those conversations that i need to have and that is truly like the quality time that I need but sometimes I need to do something physically before it's almost like foreplay with myself before I can just get into like some really deep conversations I don't even know if that makes any sense I don't even know if that's true but that's kind of how it's making sense in my head right now but yeah I just feel like I was really glad that I got to do all those things today with myself and even though it wasn't anything crazy or like revolutionary it made me feel really reset and taken care of and like loved and prioritized which i think is a really big thing too like i feel like when life gets busy it's important for us to like prioritize ourselves as if we are like a different person like as if we're like another person and like someone we love because i feel like sometimes when we say oh we need to prioritize ourselves that means like we need to eat healthy and go to therapy and go to the gym and yada 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 get our work done but it's like sometimes that's not what I mean sometimes what I mean is like literally checking in with yourself like what do you need right now and then doing that thing and for me that was quality time 100% and I'm really glad that I spent the day doing that I think I'm actually because I didn't go to the mall today I think I'm gonna go on my laptop and do some online shopping I got a gift card I got a bunch of gift cards but I got like a Visa gift card for a little bit of money and so like that's just straight up fun money that I get to spend like today I was gonna use it at the grocery store and then I was like you know what no let me not this is like a gift let me use it like it's an actual gift not just food you know I could just pay for that myself but anyways I'm gonna look at some stuff I want to get I think I'm gonna buy um two more pairs of the alpha elite leggings i really really like those i got a pair for christmas and they're the best leggings i've ever tried they don't roll down they're completely um squat proof they make my body look crazy good and like they're comfortable they don't feel too too tight so yeah that's my plan after I wash my face, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed bringing you guys along with me. I feel like this was a lot more of like one of my chill videos and I really like when we get to do those together because it kind of makes me feel like a FaceTime call with you guys. So my face is dripping. I will talk to you later. I love you. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll talk to you in the next one.